Hello, welcome to mytechfun.com. I'm Igor, and approximately half years ago, I created a video where I was talking about food safe 3D printing. And most important part of that video uh, was the bacterial test on different material. I 3D printed some cups from PLA, PETG, different layer height. Uh, some of them I coated with epoxy resin, and uh, some of them were uh, smoothed. About this smoothing, first I wanted to use the ABS. Uh, because it can be smoothed with the uh, acetone, but I didn't want to confuse the viewers because uh, ABS cannot have direct contact with the food. So my second option was to use the uh, polysmooth from Polymaker because it can be smoothed with the uh, isopropyl alcohol. At that moment I couldn't find any certificate on, on the box I had, uh, but I, I needed it only for a bacterial test to see is it easier to clean the surface if it is smoothed. This test was in cooperation with the University in Novi Sad in Serbia with the Department of Biotechnology and Pharmaceutical Engineering thanks to my colleague Jovana Grahovac. So we were simulating using in a kitchen. In these cups we put the milk and um, after some time uh, we uh, washed it in the tap using a dish soap. Not in the dishwashing machine because it cannot handle high temperatures. So we repeat this protest every day and after 10 days uh, my colleague measured the bacteria built up on the surface. And in this test the uh, cup 3D printed from uh, Polysmooth performed very badly but uh, uh, here I uh, didn't have other uh, equipment. I used a brush to smooth it. It was a little bit better so I get more transparency but I could feel that those channels are still there and it became a little bit sticky. And approximately a few weeks later I was contacted by Polymaker that uh, probably my technique was not correct. And uh, let me read from the email. So it seems that poor printing quality really impacted the results and if uh, they provide me the polybox and polisher I could repeat this test to see uh, more representative results. My answer to them was that uh, in this test I just wanted to test if smoothing the cup uh, will be better for cleaning so I only wanted this bacterial test but if they don't have a food certificate, food grade uh, certificate then it doesn't make sense. Even if it would be completely smoothed for cleaning, uh, it cannot be used uh, with the indirect contact with the food. And their answer was that uh, PFA, the food contact certification for the material we use uh, for polysmooth, the PVB. Uh, however, you said theoretically it, uh, you would need a certification for the color dyes as well and other components uh, of the filament. So the answer was that uh, basically they have uh, the PFA, uh, the food contact certification for the material they use for the polysmooth, the PVB. But of course, uh, as I mentioned in that video, that uh, they would need a certificate for every color, every additive combination. And my answer is, was that, that, okay, I found the uh, polyvinyl uh, butyrers, the PVB, in there certification data sheet for the polysmooth but I couldn't find other materials and their answer was the actual formulation uh, is confidential uh, but polysmooth transparent meets the relevant uh, requirements uh, laid down in regulation EU number of therefore it is safe for food contact okay so from that point uh, that convinced me and I wanted to repeat this test but uh, I didn't want to them to send me this, the polybox and polisher so I asked them uh, I send them my STR files of this cup I asked them to 3d print it and do this procedure and to record it on video and send me those cups and uh, here they are and I was really impressed, so <laughs> completely different uh, material compared to my where I used the brush for the smoothing. Uh, let's see those, that video. So the first step we can see here is placing the spool into the polybox. 
because it will dry the filament. Uh, in my case, uh, I used this filament straight from the box, so I hope it was dried. And then the next step is slicing the cup and they use the Cura. You can see here some parameters of 3D printing. And uh, 3D printing was made on Ultimaker 3D printer. Next step was polishing the cup into isopropyl alcohol vapor. And a very important step is drying the cup. Now I'm not sure uh, is this dried or on air, or maybe the polybox can be used for drying the cup, because in my case uh, it was uh, sticky for a days, properly during the test. Now I noticed uh, two problems with these cups. First is the holder outside. I'm not sure is uh, this problem with the 3D printing, or maybe this was resulted by the isopropyl alcohol. But bigger problem is inside. In my design it is continuous circle, but here probably in the Cura this was sliced on this way, that we have this channel inside. And uh, this is not good because this is perfect uh, place for bacteria colonies. It is harder to clean it properly. And just for comparison, these cups are printed by me. And as you can see this one is not so transparent, but here it has a perfect geometry. So I repeated the bacterial test with these cups and uh, the result was much better compared to my technique. CFU per square centimeters was between 20 and 40. Here you can see this uh, table chart. This means that uh, it performs, uh, it is much easier to clean than uh, simple PLA or, or PETG. But I still can uh, feel some small channels here. It cannot be compared to the, I don't know, coat, coating with epoxy resin or injection molded uh, cups. The conclusions. Uh, using the transparent version of the PolySmooth, uh, maybe we result uh, a, a better product than just a food safe uh, PLA or PETG because this can be smoothed with uh, isopropyl alcohol but uh, don't even try to do it uh, if you are you, if you don't have the correct e equipment for it because uh, as you saw uh, using a brush for example uh, or any other similar method will perform even worse results uh, so but it is very important to, to do, do it equally uh, in uh, isopropyl uh, vapor and uh, then another very important step is to dry it completely because otherwise it will be so sticky and uh, so it is better than simple PLA PETG uh, but this is not perfect so officially I cannot recommend uh, using uh, this material if you want to use if you want to 3D print uh, a food safe product especially if you want to use it for the longer period. Uh, for shorter period, probably maybe one or two weeks, or maybe you want to drink a vodka from it, then, then okay, I can recommend using this product. Well, that would be it. I hope this information was useful. Thank you for watching and um, happy printing. Bye.